so welcome my loves this is another star priestess tarot i am cleaning already your energy with this beautiful palo santo and let's get ready with the messages from your spirit team let's see what can you do to improve it to make it better okay whatever it's in your mind maybe some of you you want to manifest better maybe some of you you are worried about something so i think this is a very interesting topic i hope you like it and i hope it really helps you out Pile number one, we have the Oceanic Tarot based in Rider weight. The one original is this one, based in the original one. Group number one, Oceanic and Pink Feather. Pink, <laughs> not pink. Pink Feather. Group number two, we have the Tarot based in Rider weight. Purple Feather, group number two. And group number three, we have the Daily Witch Tarot based in Rider weight and the Pink Feather. My angels, if you want a very, very, very economical reading with people truly gifted and great readers and psychics, you also have over there astrologers, people that even knows how to read the lines of their hand, palmistry. In Purple Garden, they have it for sure. In Keen, I'm not sure. But in Keen, you have five minutes for just $1. And in Purple Garden, you pay $10. At the moment, you pay those $10. After choosing a plan, one on the left is most economical. They give you for free instantly $10 more. So you have more than enough time to ask your questions. I recommend you to go directly to the point. And thank you so much if you're going to proceed because it's a way for me to receive a donation from those platforms. I am not working there, but as I tell you, it, it, it that's where I go personally. That's why I'm improving in all of my areas in my life because they, are, they really get to the point and i like those type of readings now i i'm not doing private readings right now but i will open new spots from time to time through my website so my loves let's see as i said how can you improve it how can you improve that situation that technique whatever it's in your mind and i will leave you to connect with your groups So welcome, group number one. Okay, very interesting the information that I'm already receiving from Spirit. And they showed me, I have searched it in my iPad, and they showed me the scarab beetle in Egyptian art, okay? The, the, I, don't, I don't know if some of you, you, you feel connected to Egypt, or there's a connection of past lives, so you really feel a very strong connection, maybe with a symbol, or you are just about to see a lot of beetles, or you have dreamed about it, but this is important, okay? Because if the spirit shows me this information, I have to show you. So, it says here, I don't know if you can read it correctly, Scarax came in many designs, often winged like the god Kefri and holding a sun in the center. So it reminds us of the card of the sun, right? Which is representation of summer, success, happiness, a, a great result. Bright, vivid colors, blue is the Nile River, red is Ra, Kefri and yellow, the dessert and sun, and green growth. So what is this already telling me? Let, let's see right now with the cards. But this is already telling me that Spirit wants me to, to comfort you, to make sure that you leave this reading really feeling and believing that things, things are going to get better. Not Yes, things are already, and they're not telling me will, are already getting better. Okay, and I'm, and this reminds me of Capricorn. I don't know if some of you, you're Capricorn or you're dealing with a Capricorn. It could be also the card of the of the devil, right? So yes, it's a challenge for you, whatever you're thinking about. It's a challenge. So it's something maybe even that you're trying to improve. So, I'm oh, sorry, I put, <laughs> I forgot to put the feather. Let's put it here, your feather here. Okay. Okay, my loves. So, let me focus. So, please, Spirit. Okay. 
So we have the Knight of Swords, and this is talking about drama, right? Let me put the light over here. Yes. Okay. I'm going to change the lighting in for one second. Okay, my loves, that's better. So it says here drama. So the confirmation that you're very worried about something, or maybe you want to improve. So this is opportunity. Wow. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Oops. I think that you're going to get to the solution quite quickly, the way the cards are coming out, at least what I'm sensing with the energy. We have the High Priestess and the Two of Swords, yes, you see? Okay. Two more, please, Spirit, two more, two more. I feel this one. We have the Angel of Oceanic. Um, this is healing. Okay, my loves. This is Temperance. Very interesting that I was sensing the card of, of the devil and now the temperance is coming out. Oops, okay. And we have restriction with eight of swords and the six of wands with success. You see, it's so it's incredible. It's incredible how the cards are coming out. So let me focus. So first card, page of swords, page of pentacles. Sorry, knight of swords and page of pentacles. You see, I sense that. It's suddenly that it's stressing you out or it's delaying whatever you have in your mind. Okay, because I sense here in group number one that all of you have a plan. You, you are very quite clear. Maybe you don't know yet all of the details, but I sense like clarity in your mind. And that's why sometimes you get frustrated. Like, I don't understand. My, I am I'm being clear. I know how it works. Or I'm being clear with this person. I don't understand why I'm getting this situation. So... I really feel that that with the page of pentacles an opportunity, you're just about to to receive the result. You're just about to receive news. You're just about to receive the solution. Okay? Wonderful. We have the high priestess and we have the temperance. So this is letting me know I was feeling that there's two people in your life that really gives you good advice. And I feel with the High Priestess, and this is Wisdom, I feel that this is one of your ancestors or one of your masters and guides. I feel more the vibes of, of ancestor. So this could be a grandfather, a great-great-grandfather. I'm sorry if it's your brother. I'm sorry. I'm, not, I'm so sorry if it's a son. I'm sorry. Uh, it could be even an animal totem. It could be one of your pets that passed away that was a male. Maybe it could be a female, okay, for some of you. Even could be two animals for some of you or two ancestors. But I feel that they're telling you through this reading that you're just about, you see how he's putting the hand like, there you go, the solution. There, there you go, what you needed. It's coming, okay? We are in number eight, 2024. We are in the infinite symbol, which is talking about karma. So this is part of your karma. If you were asking yourself, is this part of a karma? Even it could be ancestral karma, you know, a pattern that that many generations has been repeating and you are you are the generational curse breaker you are the generate you are the pattern you are the generational pattern breaker so i feel that you can you can do this for sure you're ready for this and we have these two cards that are going hand by hand energetically and this is talking about restriction with it of swords and the two of swords like you don't like you feeling like you're stuck like you're feeling like oh my gosh uh, i don't know how this relationship does this situation or my life in general i don't know if this is if if this is truly going to change i tell you that yes i know that this is your feeling my love but yes with the rest of the cards you see the six of wands success you see yes yes My love, I, ha I have to be sincere. I feel an, an, like an energy in, in your life, somebody in your life. It's somebody you know really well. I think this person, I don't know if they are doing it per in purpose or not. I, I think you know who it is. It could be several for some of you, but I feel mostly one. 
even it could be two people. So even it could be the representation that you have been trying two years for this or two months for this. I feel that these two energies or so that person, I don't know if, if they're being very negative, it's the comments that they make you, you know, the advice they give you is not good. Be aware of that, okay? Because I'm sensing here, let's put it here. I'm sensing here like a lot of restriction on people, at least two, even it could be several, okay? Several, it could be with a 10 of certs. Several people giving you bad advice. And I see here like your spirit team and even it could be two good friends or two family members or very or a good friend and a family member really giving you the correct advice. So discern, I'm listening from spirit because sometimes I think that sometimes when we are stressed, right? We don't know how to discern because we are vibrating from fear. So when you calm yourself, when you're more relaxed and listening from spirit, maybe a good advice should, would be for you to, yes, I mean, maybe this is talking about readers that you're following. Maybe some readers, they don't have, I mean, maybe you love them and they're very nice readers, but I sense a bad vibe. And then there are some, a few readers that you follow that are truly healers, you know? There's nothing wrong about this type of readers that are not healers. I know I'm more a healer, but I know many readers are not healers or, or they don't channel. It's fine. They're amazing. But be aware about the type of energy that you need. You know what I mean? Or the type of information you need. Be aware what type of reader you choose. Maybe for a private reading, maybe for a pick a card. Because there are readers and readers. Um, I, I think that all of us, we have our style, right? But... If you, if you need something to help you heal, choose a reader that it's a healer. If you're like me, I'm here. If you don't like me, then choose another one, <laughs> you know. And if it's something or sending love type of love readings, then you you could find no specific channels about that. I don't know. I was listening, I was listening a lot about that. Uh, let me grab another one. Oh, sorry. Moving this. But yes, I see that the advice from your spirit team is to choose wisely what type of readings you're following, what type of readers you're following, with, with what type of healer, even therapist you're working. I remember in my past when I started to find a, a good therapist because all of us, we come from trauma, right? And I knew that, my, that the first step was to go to therapy. And it was difficult for me at first to find a good one. Or at least, not a good one, at least a one that I would resonate with, you know? Sometimes we have to search a lot uh, before we find a great therapist, a great healer, a great reader, that it's more aligned with our energy. That does not mean that the rest of psychologists and therapists and readers are, are not are bad. Maybe some of them they are, but, you know, like listen more to where you are energetically and follow that kind of help because I, I, I receive that you're getting a lot of help. So it helps you out to give you more specific details. So more discernment, your friends, your family members that they give you advice. Maybe it's a good advice for them and maybe it's, it's terrible for you and your path, you know, and it does not mean that they want you to, to feel wrong or, or to not succeed. Maybe it's because they don't have the capacity to see more than you because it's your life, you know, it's understandable. And we have with a full a new beginning. Just see, so this is the this is the confirmation from spirit that you are getting there. You are. You will find that solution. You will find a way to manifest better. You will find a way to to make up your mind because I feel that some of you you're not, not making up your mind because you keep receiving a lot of feedback from many people that they don't love like you, they don't experience life like you. Maybe others well, maybe some, they experience life a little bit similar, but they are not you. Again, <laughs> I think that the spirit team is pushing you to have more confidence in yourself. Right? And let us grab some oracle. Now that's beautiful. Maybe even you have to listen more to your higher self and to your spirit team and to your guides and masters before somebody that has not even awakened, you know? Maybe it's something better for you and goddess and flow, you see. So your spirit team is telling you that keep flowing, okay? 
Honor your divine feminine. F sorry, honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. Yes, whether you're a man or woman, this is the kind of energy that you need to embrace in this situation. To listen more to your instinct. Listen more to your feelings. Listen more to your body. Our body talks us. Have you realized, guys, that when we meet somebody that maybe they look like beautiful um, inside and outside, very nice people, but your body is telling you, your body is, is closing energetically. Why? Because they see something that you are not aware of. Yeah, like your instinct. When somebody tells you something and suddenly a voice, you listen like, he's lying, she's lying. That's your spirit team. That's your soul telling you the truth. So maybe it's a... Maybe you needed to learn how to flow better with yourself and with spirit theme and with those ones that really resonates with the way you perceive life and your evolution and find an easier path forwards. You see, you will find an easier path forwards. This pick a guide is about this, right? Surrender the outcome, release your expectations. So don't try, don't worry so much because it's coming. The result is coming sooner than later. I'm listening. Okay, nice. And the last message, and I will channel a little bit of light language to help you out. And we have healing. Yes, you see, healing. You need to listen to people or readers that are healers, that they make you feel good. You just have to see how you feel after a reading. Do they leave you with a good vibration or do they make you tired? Just listen. You know, spirit quartz, yes. Listen to your spirit, connect with your spirit. Number 33, it's a master's number, right? And uh, yes, healing, beautiful. And Chiron, Chiron, I don't know how it, how it's said in English. Okay, beautiful. So if you want to keep, it's going to, it's going to take less than one minute. If you want to stay to close your eyes, so you can receive those light, codes and healing energy through this light language that I'm going to channel. Stay. <laughs> okay, my loves. Okay. I'm going to put the hands on top of your cards, okay? So that way you will receive the energy. Shiriya sana shinia kakrina sini ariya kakarina karinia kako are sini shiriya sono nia nia kriya kakarina sana shiriya o kuno nia kriya sana shiriya kakaria selia kakiria nia kiria so sho ariya kakriya sana shiriya minia kakriya sia Okay, my loves, I hope you have liked it. That was brief. <laughs> Let me know if you like me to do that. And my angels, if you want a private reading, very specific, you have the office of Keen and Purple Garden, like I said in the introduction. Stay blessed. Keep going. I love you guys so much. Bye. Welcome, group number two. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see what spirit wants to tell you. How you, how can you improve this, this situation? It could be for some of you. A way to manifest, so maybe for others, uh, that relationship, whatever it's in your mind. Let's see how you can improve it. I love the purple feather. So I feel that you're highly connected to spirit. Maybe some of you, your readers, natural psychics, natural mediums, natural healers. I think that the form of the all, well, the form. I, I feel that the all is one of your animal spirits and for others, the crow. The ego, the hawk, I'm listening. Butterflies keep appearing, right? So, Ten of Pentacles, we start really strong with you. Queen of Swords and the Page of Cups. Okay, let's put it in the middle. In the, in the middle, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, my loves. Thank you, Spirit. Can you tell us how they can improve group number two? That situation, that relationship, whatever it's in their mind. We have, wow, another 10, sorry, not another 10, 9 and 10 of pentacles. Let me focus. Okay. Okay, this one's to four, eight of wands. Wow, you've got great cards. Why are you worried? <laughs> Why are you worried? You're amazing. Always finding solutions and 
I feel that whatever you put in your mind, you get it very fast. And if you're here because there's something that maybe you're thinking the same, I'm good at manifesting or I'm good at finding solutions or I'm good at finding, yes, finding a, a balanced solution between that person and me or between my company and me. But if you're here, it's because of something, right? And we have the Knight of Swords and the Moon, yes. So let's start by the end in this, in this case. So I feel that with the Knight of Swords and the Moon, it's like you're, you're fighting very strong for this. It's like you are really, truly feeling very inspired. You are absolutely with the moon. I know that this is talking about mystery, hidden secrets, but this is talking about you being so in touch with your, with your instinct, with your gifts. Okay. Maybe some of you, some of you, you're here because you want to improve your gifts. This is happening very fast or it's just about to happen very fast. So. There's nothing wrong, <laughs> I keep listening, there's nothing wrong the way you do it or the way you are. I think that the, in this case it's something outside of you. Because I see the cards and you're, you're amazing at manifesting, you're amazing at finding peace, good resolutions. You're somebody very balanced. You're somebody that is true that you're so in touch with your feelings, with your instinct, with your gifts. And you have great thoughts. And you truly are feeling that this is your year. Yes, it is. So, okay. Nevertheless, let's see what, what's the what's the advice from Spirit for this case. So, Queen of Swords, keep, keep planning ahead. And I'm listening. Keep cutting off whatever it's not serving you anymore. I feel that this, there's somebody younger than you that it's distracting you. I don't know if this is a sibling, a son, maybe somebody that wants to go out and admire a fan, a subscriber, a client. I feel maybe this is the representation of several people that are interested in you. But I feel that your spirit team is telling you that do not get distracted. Too much social media, too much time in your mobile, too much time, I don't know, in watching negative news, you know, um, I'm not saying not to watch the news, but be aware how you're feeling your mind. With the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, I feel that you are feeling on fire. You're feeling like, wow, I know I can get this. I know I can manifest this and I know I can find a solution over here. And you're right with the Nine of Pentacles. I feel from now to nine months, this is going to be over for some of you or it's going to find a peaceful resolution with the ten of pentacles and the moon this is telling me that yes there are th new ways that you can choose to make it better you can try new techniques you can try new ways you can meet other type of professional people i'm listening and i feel by august summertime or maybe from here to august okay i feel that things are going to move really fast for you I know that you're asking for something that troubles you, that it's worrying you, but I don't feel, I don't, I don't see problems, real, pro I mean, I'm not saying it's not a real problem. With the moon, maybe a spirit team is telling you that to keep going, keep going because you know you will be successful in all the areas in your life. Yes, and you're going to feel very happy, nine of cups fulfilled. And again, if something is not working the way you want, it's because of the matrix, it's because of somebody else, it's because of the collective. So if that's the case, then maybe you need to clear better your energy, to clean yourself better. Do not worry, you can stay at the end of the reading and go into channel light language to, to help you clean of any type of entity or energy that it's making you feel doubtful sometimes. But with, the, with no really, I, I, I was going to say I swear, but I, really what I see with the cards is that you get into a better place. I see you very balanced. I see that you're doing amazing. But the only negative thing that I see, which it's not negative, the only negative thing, as I said, that I see is that sometimes you don't clean yourself very well from the energy, okay? this Again, I feel this like many people trying to get 
close to you. I don't know if you're a celebrity or you're just about to become a celebrity, or maybe you're working in a field that there's a lot of competition, but I feel many people trying to work with you, to go out with you, to be with you, to be uh, your friend, you know, to get close to you. And I feel Spirit wants me to tell you to be aware of people that could get obsessed over you. Because the moon could also talk about obsession, in my, in my opinion. So whatever you have been asking for, it's becoming a reality. You don't have to worry too much. Just be aware of people that are going to get obsessed with you if it's not happened already. Cut it out, okay? I feel that there's a feminine energy very close by to you, even stronger in spirit than when they were alive. It could be a pet, it's a female energy. And they want me to tell you that they love you, they are, they are always there with you, they are sending you people, resources, money, gifts, okay? So you keep going. And I am listening from this energy, you're close to end up a chapter, a cycle, okay? Something that was tough for you. But I feel that you're already on the path. With these cards, I really feel that you're already in the path. Don't get distracted with toxic energies, toxic frequencies. What type of music are you listening to? What type of movies are you watching? Maybe some of you, you love, you love terror movies. But do you go to... Do, do you have a good sleep afterwards? Maybe some of you, you like those um, programs that they gossip. Do they, f they, um, there was a similar message in group number one. No, not the same, but a similar one. So I feel that you need to clear out better your energy. Do not connect so much with the collective energy. I'm, I'm sorry, maybe you're working like me in tarot readers as, and maybe you're thinking, oh, no, it's impossible, I'm doing readers for many people. Yes and no. Yes, you will still have to connect with the energy of the collective, but you can select those energies, those those spirits that you work with, those god goddesses that you work with, because I sense that some of you, you're working with a type of energy that is truly distracting you. Maybe even some of you, you think you're working with light. I think that in general, all of you guys, you're working with light, but it says one energy. Mm, have you realized? Be aware. I, and I'm watching the... I, I am watching what she's wearing, the tunic, and you see this. For me, this is like all of those admirers. These are flowers, right? They could be talking about springtime, but this is like a lot of admirers and people really want to be in your space. So maybe, maybe, that, is, this, is this happening to you, my love? If you want to share it in the, com in the community comments down below. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm not flowing like always, it's because... Yesterday, I, I I went to sleep quite late. It was my birthday, so sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you want to sense, Anna, what's happening? <laughs> so thank you, thank you for your patience. So have you noticed that maybe you go in a mall center or you're walking in the street and suddenly people start, even men and women, they start to get close to you in a weird way. Maybe they are not harassing you, but it's weird, no? It's like, you sense like, you have you're this big magnet. People are are getting close to you. I mean, I don't think maybe some they don't have, they have bad intentions, but I don't think the majority has bad intentions. I think that your energy is so strong. You give them like such a good vibe. I think that you're a goddess, a god in the in disguise. You're a walking goddess. You're a walking god. You're a different level. They can sense it that you're different. They can sense that you're going to become a celebrity or maybe it's not a celebrity for some of you because you don't want to become a celebrity. But they can sense a lot of richness, a lot of abundance that you are different. So the only thing that I think I have to tell you is protect yourself from people that get obsessed over you. So healthy boundaries, stronger boundaries. I was listening. Okay. But whatever you were asking for, you get in there. Sorry, guys. The lion. Wow. Waking the lion. Number 19. Yes. You see? You're so sexy. <laughs> you're so sensual. You're so interesting. People, people stare at you. People follow you. People get obsessed over you. I mean, it's fine 
if they don't trespass a healthy line for you. If you're a blogger, a recommendation from Spirit, do not show maybe the area where you live or do not show the buildings where some viewers can see where exactly you live. Do you know? I mean, keep recording who you're home, but skip some parts so you don't give too much details for those people that get obsessed over you. Maybe some of you, you're not in social media, but maybe you're sharing too much pics about your children. Be aware, okay? Because you don't know who's watching those pics. I'm, I don't want to make people uncomfortable with this, but be aware. Just, just take precautions. And we have guide. Yes, you see, I think that you were meant to become a great guide for others. You're a natural leader. I am watching here alpha leaders, alpha, uh, yes, alpha leader and beta leader. Very different. <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay, I'm going to grab the rest of that four. Look at that, karma. I think that many of you, you're not, you're natural psychics, readers, healers. I don't know if you, you like to use the crystal ball or you were thinking of buying a, a crystal ball. And yes, what I tell you, I think that this situation that you're asking about, it's more concerning the karma of others, not yours, not even yours. No, I think that you have already cleaned your karma. And we have forgiveness and anger. Yes, again, I feel that sometimes you tap into a lot of angry vibes from the collective. And I think that one of your abilities is to release that anger and that karma from this planet. Okay, because Mother Gaia is getting all of our energy, right? I feel that you have the ability of touching the ground and cleaning the energy of this planet to help Mother Gaia feel better. You're somebody highly empathic. You're somebody that you truly have, you have been working in forgiving yourself and others. And you have been re releasing a lot of anger too. I feel that this is more coming from your past. Maybe some people, okay. I am receiving another message. Maybe some people are going to get very mad about you becoming such a great success in your life. Maybe this is already happening and they're angry. Okay, so forgive them. Just go on with your path. You're doing amazing. You were meant to guide. You were meant to become a natural leader. Alpha leader, beta leader. Beta leader. I am listening. Okay, my angels, I'm going to shuffle another oracle and i will do some channeling channeling i will i will clean you if you want me to clean you well me my spirit team <laughs> they do it through me and call of the muse yes number 31 you see so people think that you are so hot sexy handsome beautiful they see that you're different they see that you're so beautiful inside and outside and they really get obsessed over you they do Okay, they even think many of the people that follow you or they know you. Maybe some of you, again, you're not in social media, but they think you're like an earth angel. You are like a fairy, you know? You're different. Your vibe is different. Your energy is different. Sometimes they ask themselves, are they always happy? <laughs> okay, I don't think so. No, nobody is always happy, but yes. Look at the back. And great and full, you see, so you will find a solution to whatever you have been asking for from here to four months, the latest. I don't know if I said before nine months or eight months. Yes, I said that, right? For most of you guys, four months. Four weeks, it could be four days. And great and full. This is like a days of cups, right? Soulmate connection. Beautiful gift. Solution to your problem. You find it the technique. You find it a different way, right? And yes, you're great and full. You're becoming great and full. Great and full of richness. Great and full of wisdom. Great and full of great vibrations, great and full of great lessons. I think that you're a natural teacher. I don't know if some of you, you're teachers, but you're amazing. You, you, I think that you're very good at teaching and I'm watching writers here as well. I don't know, and singers. Yeah. Or maybe working in the, in the entertainment industry. You can look at the back. I did not see it. Number 11, in perfect harmony. You're in perfect harmony. You always come back to your essence you always come back and you know how to align yourself and if you choose correct frequencies as we said before that aligns all of your chakras and helps you to 
clear and clear away any type of anger or envy energy that has been sent towards you. Okay, my love. And now we'll channel a little bit of light language if you want to stay and close your eyes. Okay, my loves. So I'm going to ask Spirit to clean your energy. Oops, sorry. That's my Palo Santo. Okay, I'm going to put the hands on in your cards. Okay. Kriyak kokosono kiriyakariasne shiyakariyak kriyakakrakakariasane shiyak. Senyanya kriya sana shiriya kakriya sana shiriya sokruo kriya seria shirara kakriya la 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 kakusno shi senya kriya niya niya niya. Okay, my love. These are very brief channelings of light language. Let me know if you like it. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye, my loves. Thank you for your work and for your service. Bye, my loves. Bye. Welcome, group number three, love, the pink feather you have chosen. Right now, when I'm connecting with your energy, my frequency in my left ear is changing. So this is letting me know that you have been upgraded, okay, concerning something. And sometimes you listen to a bus or so you, you, you sense the change of frequencies because you have the ability of sensing spirit, of sensing paradigms in this matrix, changes in the matrix. I think that you watch a lot of glitters. I'm listening from Spirit. Okay. And I think that many of you, you're highly connected to Hawaii from past lives. Lemurian, I sense a lot of Lemurian here. And yes, at the end of the reading, I'm going to help you out with your manifestations. I, I, I With channeling light language, it will be very brief. But I sense in each group, I am listening from spirit. In the second group, uh, it's uh, I did some channeling at the end of the reading, if you want to check it out, to clean the energy of the collective or to clean energies. And here I sense that for manifesting. So let's see how can you improve that situation, relationship, whatever you have in your mind. How, how can you improve it? I was listening, let go of so much expectations. You need to trust to more the divine. You need to trust to more us, the spirit. You need to trust God. For some of you, you don't believe in God, in universe. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. I am listening to that you're doing too much stuff at the same time, that you need to relax more. You need, you need to have more fun. You need to take some holidays soon. Peace, love. You deserve it. Don't feel guilty of taking time off. I'm listening. Even it could be time off with somebody, some of you. And you see time off. Six of swords and the hero fan. What did I say? I was saying when I was challenging from spirit, maybe some of you need to take time off from somebody or time off in general in your life. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Already the messages. I am listening. Stop comparing your journey with others. You're doing amazing. You're more than enough. I'm listening. We have five of cups. Look, I was challenging. You're more than enough. Do not compare yourself anymore with others because that is just making you sick. It's making you feeling like you're not worth it or you're not doing enough. No, no, no. Stop comparing. I don't know if maybe you had a mom or a dad uh, that compared you always with a cousin, compared you always with the daughter of the neighbor. Look at she has done that. Look, look at him. He has gone. He's going to that university. Look at, you know, and that sometimes affects us uh, in later years. And that's why we tend to compare ourselves with others because we have been compared so much, so many times when we were very young. We have the nine of cups. We have the four of swords and we have the ten of swords. It's, wow, this is amazing because this card it was coming in group number one okay if i remember right okay and i need another one spirit please i am listening to do not give up your dream do not give up your dream don't you dare <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I laugh at spirit. 
<laughs> maybe it's somebody that loves you so much that it's trying to not trying it's helping you out with a manifestation with a dream or with this issue that you're asking about <laughs> Has a lot of personality, this energy. <laughs> and they tell you, don't you dare leave it now. After all of that hard work, are you crazy? <laughs> and we have the fear search. So funny. So funny. Okay. <laughs> I am listening from that energy that you, that, that you have been a little bit serious lately. Again, that, again. Okay. So the solution to whatever you have been trying to, how to improve. Maybe your, your life in general, we have the here friend in the middle. It could be talking about that maybe finding out a mentor, a spiritual healer, a reader, a psychic. Maybe, find, maybe searching for a good therapist, a coach, even a therapy, you know, but I sense somebody that knows a lot. I'm not saying you don't know a lot, but this is somebody that it's truly going to help you out to balance whatever is not balanced in your life right now. And maybe some of you, you have been called to go to yoga classes, Pilates, to guided meditations. Some There are some teachers that, that they teach how to meditate. Maybe starting to follow incredible channels. I love YouTube. Of course, I love YouTube. I'm here, but in YouTube... You have all of these free videos, right? And maybe starting doing guided meditations. It would really, it would really help you out with whatever issue you are asking for. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. So this is really letting me know that you are doing a lot of stuff at the same time. You're doing sometimes even too much. Too much. And I'm, I'm not saying to not take action. Of course, we need to take action to get there, to find a solution, to improve, right? But sometimes you get so tired... This is somebody that, it's, that is so stressed out, so burned out. So it's perfect that you want to keep fighting for your dreams, keep fighting for whatever you want to keep fighting for. Maybe in terms of relationships, maybe three relationships that you have always been trying to improve. Or maybe this is talking about three exes, so two exes, and right now you're in the third. I'm, I don't know if it's going to be your ex, but... It's like sometimes you focus in people that they don't want to lift their vibration. They don't want to lift themselves up. They don't want to lift you up, you know. So look at the back. Spirit is telling you that, again, some holidays. I really feel that you need you need to relax and you need to maybe, maybe go into a spiritual retreat. Maybe going on holidays. Maybe taking a weekend off. Maybe taking one day off per week if you can, or one hour per day if you can, at least 15 minutes per day for you, only for you, not for the kids, not for your family, not for your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, one hour at least per day for you, or 15 minutes if some of you, you're very stressed out and you have a lot of stuff to do. Because balancing your life, you know, taking time for yourself, it's going to make a big difference. And again, I feel with these three cards, when I get the four of swords and the ten of swords and the three of swords, you are really burning yourself out. And you need to stop, my love. Maybe some of you, you're trying too hard in a relationship that it will never be healthy. That's karma, right? Maybe some of you, you're trying too hard in, I don't know, maybe you're trying too hard in something that it's not working out because spirit and universe and God is leading you to somewhere else. That it's better for you. Much better. With the Nine of Cups. I feel that some of you. This situation is leading you to a new job. To a new location. To a new home. To a new relationship. To a new you. A new identity. So I really feel. Very very strongly. That you need to release at last your past. Maybe writing a journal. Scripting would really help you out to manifest better. Healing. I think that writing is the key for you. Maybe some of you, you're becoming great writers. So you're going to become, some of you, uh, you're going to publish a book that it's going to go viral. Or, But I feel that writing is a key for you to heal, to release, and to not burn yourself out. Because your spirit team, your loved ones, do not want to see you like that. This for me, the same, the Hierophant could be talking about God, right? A higher energy, your higher self. 
So balance is the key. Escaping, short escapes, long escapes. If you cannot right now because of money or you don't have holidays till summertime or till the end of the year, then mentally, meditations. What do I do? Is, well, I mean, I, I, I should be doing guided meditations every day. <laughs> Sometimes I do, others no, I have to be sincere. But it is true that whenever I go to my guided meditations, I travel. I connect deeply with my spirit team. I connect deeply with those ones that transcended to spirit. I connect with beautiful elements from nature sometimes aliens. So it's a way of escaping, right? Maybe some for, maybe for some of you it's reading. When was the last time that you read a book? Calmly. So very important, very clear that in order for you to get over there, wherever you want to go to, to be happy, to feel at peace, is that you find, you give yourself that peace. Maybe some of you, you need to go to the beach from time to time, or maybe to nature, or maybe even some people, they when they go to a big city, they love it, you know, but a different city. So I, I really think that Spirit wants me to tell you that the way for you to improve this situation or everything in general in your life is from time to time to have a to have holidays or a short escape. Maybe even it could be to a different town, it's as simple as that. Going to a different town, doing something else, different people, different energy, different environment, and that helps you to not get, to get so burned out because if you keep and this is not to make you feel bad. Eh? <laughs> it's just a warning from spirit that if you keep hustling, hustling, hustling and not resting enough and being too much worried, it's going to it's going to make you feel worst, right? By logic. So I feel that you're going to find a way. Maybe it's a mix of meditations, uh, going hiking with a nice group, a new group, uh, with your friends, with your family, uh, going on holidays, trip, short trip, long trip. Maybe it's everything at the same time. You can organize yourself. I'm listening from spirit. And you're doing amazing. Why are you wearing so much? I'm listening. Why are you wearing so much? Why are you wearing so much? Don't you realize that you have improved your life if you look at the back, if you look at the past, Maybe some of you, you're still struggling letting go of your past and that's holding you in many situations. Then try different techniques. Maybe with a therapist, maybe some of you, you, you would improve yes, way better with a good therapist or a coach or, I don't know, a mentor. I really feel that you with a mentor or a really good guide that has experience, because I sent somebody with experience, it's going to help you out with whatever it's wearing you. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you, Spirit. What we were talking about in, in the beginning. Balance. This is the key for you to balance. Um, well, come on. Look at that. We love Spirit, right? We love angels, light beings. Take time to relax. What, ha what have I been channeling for more than 10 minutes? Take time to relax. Let me focus. Indulge a little more or less and set boundaries with your work. Yes, what we were speaking about. Thank you. <laughs> Just it. <laughs> balance. I love balance. It's great that you're working so much and it's great that you have those dreams of yours, of course, but you need to relax. You need to relax. And gentleness. Yes, my love. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness and speak words of love, okay? So sometimes you see yourself like talking to yourself bad or maybe not having patience with those ones that you love. Suddenly you act bad and you tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I talked to you like that. It's not you, I'm stressed out. Again, be gentle with yourself, it's fine. Don't, nobody is asking you to be perfect. And if you have those reactions, it's because you're very tired. It's normal. When somebody is so burned out, we have reactions like we normally we wouldn't have if we are relaxed and we are balanced. So be gentle with yourself. You're doing amazing. <laughs> My angels, I'm going to channel some light language to help you out balance, okay? And to help you feel better. And if some of you, you're trying to manifest money to go on a trip, I'm going to ask spirits to, through this short 
light language channeling to help you out to manifest that money. In this case, in group number three, I'm going to put the triangle, okay, on top of your cards. So let's start. Shiriya kiriyana sini, shiriya kakriya sana, shiriya kakriya sini, shiriya papariya sini. Kuro kurusma shiriya sini, kriya sala kakriyak, seiriya riya kakriya sana, shi. Uriyanginiya kriya haniya kriya sini shiya. Akakriya kakriya sana, shiriya kakriya sini, akakriya minia, kuro seiriya. Okay, my love. If you have liked it, let me know, guys, in the comments so I can continue to do more channelings for you. I love you guys so much. My Stabler, you're doing amazing. You just need to relax. Okay, my love. Not just once in one year. Do it from time to time because you're doing amazing. Don't worry about timing. You are getting there. You are truly manifesting an incredible life for you. Bye, my angels. Bye.